are things happening here that I have never seen before. There are things happening in the United Kingdom that I've never seen before. It is as if it is as if an oil tanker is turning around, and it's not going to happen quickly. I'm pretty confident you can't turn an oil tanker around quickly. It is it is as if the realization of what people like me have been screaming about for a few years now has reached a crystallization, a distillation, if you like, a concentration in the case of Truss and, Truss and Quateng. That means even people who think that I took leave of my senses in 2016 are now having to go, oh, yeah, do you know what? That Tufton Street business probably is. And actually the failure of the media to actually report, react, yeah, that probably, and actually the markets and the rest of the world are looking at us and responding in a way that bears no resemblance whatsoever to the way in which we've been told things are being done and we've been told things are being run. The Daily Mail had a front page, finally a true conservative budget. When was that, three weeks ago? Finally a true conservative budget. They don't understand anything either. They're all high on their own supply. And that supply, as I've mentioned to you, when you remove immigration from the mix, they've got nothing left, these people. They pretend to be cross about environmental protesters or universities teaching more history than they used. They're not really cross about that. They might feel threatened and frightened by it, but it's not a visceral hatred like they feel for refugees or foreigners. You remove the refugees and the foreigners from the landscape of British political discourse and the people who've been in the steering seat the people who've been in the driving seat for the last six years have got absolutely nothing to say it's a part of the reason why everything's falling apart but the speed with which it's falling apart is quicker than the response of the people responsible for it whether they're politicians because the conservative party isn't making the noises it should be making when you've got a sort of kamikaze pilot in the front of the bus and the media doesn't know what to do. They've been so long tugging their forelocks and doffing their caps at whoever was anointed by the Tory faithful. They've got no idea how to respond to the fact that you've got a complete wazzock, two complete wazzocks surrounded by sycophants and idiots in charge of the entire country. And that's why the markets are spooked, because they heard that mini budget and they sort of went, whoa, whoa, get out. These people haven't got the first idea what they're doing. And they're right. But it's almost patriotically difficult to admit that because we live here and we love living here and we love our country. And to see the people in charge embark upon such a, such a boneheaded, evil path it's hard to, hard to fully appreciate because you don't want to believe it. You want to believe, the, oh, it can't be that bad. Oh, it can't be. They're all the same. But they're not. They, these two are uniquely awful. Uniquely awful. And to say that in a country where Boris Johnson has been Prime Minister and Nadine Doris has been a Secretary of State within the last few months, to talk, to talk, to talk of Truss and Quateng as being uniquely awful should give everyone the shivers. Absolutely everyone. I'm going to ask you what you think is going to happen next. You don't need any qualifications to answer this question. All that I ask is a, is a modicum of consideration and contemplation. Just take a couple of minutes to think it through before you ring in. It, it could be a comforting contribution. It could be a terrifying one. It could be somewhere in between. What is going to happen next? And you can come at it from either the political, the fiscal or the economic, the social or the personal, or possibly even the professional. What is going to happen next? We are in uncharted waters. The people we normally rely upon to tell us how uncharted the waters are can't do so because they were part of the process of putting us into these waters. The BBC is doing its best. Its live blog is its lead story on its website. I don't know what sort of numbers it gets, but the Daily Mail is leading on a demand for a bank holiday when the king gets crowned in May of 2023. So what do you think is going to happen next? And I've done this a few times recently with a degree of success i would really like to talk to conservative members in the first instance and conservative voters in the second and the more dyed in the wool you are as a conservative voter the more interesting your contribution becomes you may not recognize my analysis you may dispute it you may dismiss it you may reject it i don't currently see how you can but it doesn't affect your qualifications to answer this question. What is going to happen next?